Ooh, nice bear going there. Mm. Oh, guys, guess what time of year it is? It's Christmas! Today, class, we are going to be talking about Christmas traditions in Trinidad and Tobago. But wait, you don't know what tradition means? Tradition is the passing on of belief and activities from generation to generation. Okay, but wait, on a more serious note, let's talk about our beautiful country Christmas traditions. Christmas is a special time of year where we celebrate the day that Jesus was born. We are not sure what day he is born, but we celebrate it on the 25th of December. Even though it's a Christian event, a lot of people celebrate it because it is fun and joyful. Christmas in Trinidad and Tobago is very unique because it has a lot of traditions that other countries don't have, like para and pastel and panchakam. We have certain delicious food cooked around Christmas time. We have things like black cake, pastel, ham, wild meat, turkey, and homemade bread. Some of our Christmas drinks is like ginger beer, homemade wine, sorrel, punch cream, you know, nice thing. So, okay, let's talk about our wonderful music now. Param came from the Spanish immigrants who came to Trinidad to work on the cocoa plantation many years ago. They also brought with them a small guitar called the Quacho. It looks like a guitar, has four strings, and is slightly smaller than a guitar. See, this is a Quacho and it has four strings. One, two, three, four. La Chacha. This is a mandolin. And this is a guitar. It has six strings. One, two, three, four, five, six. Back then, there were people who used to sing parang. They were called parangeros. They sang parang because they wanted to celebrate the day that Jesus was born. The parangeros will go house to house, have a feast, dance, and sing, and have fun. Christmas is a really nice time. People clean their houses, they'll go shopping, they'll celebrate, they'll put lights up, they'll put a Christmas tree if they want to. Wow, Christmas is a really nice time. Oh yes, I learned to make pasta with Auntie Shirelle in the next video. I was a little nervous, but it still turned out to be fun. I hope you go check that out. I am Rayel McCann and this is my documentary about Christmas traditions and children that are too big. Bye. Hello guys, today I am here because Auntie Shira is going to be showing us how to make a Christmas dish. Come on. Okay, well today we are making pasta, traditional pasta. Right? Mm, pasta. Did you know that pasta actually came from our indigenous people, the Amerindians? Oh, well, you know that means something nice. And Cheryl, what is pasta? Okay, well, tra pasta is a traditional Christmas dish made with cornmeal and different types of meats. It's sweet, it's savory, I mean, different um, flavors mixed together wow. to form the cre um, to create the perfect taste. Okay? Um. So here we have beef pastas. So I mix the beef with capers and olives and raisins. So all these different tastes combined together, you'll get a savory taste at the end, right? Mm -hmm. And very, very nice. So when we